Okay, this is the equations for the formula methods. So, and the nature of the quadratic equations is determined by this one. B square minus 4AC without the square root. So, there are few conditions. There are two real roots and distinct roots. Second one is two real and equal roots. And there are no real roots. So, when B square minus 4AC larger than 10, then the quadratic equation has two real and distinct roots. When B square minus 4AC equals to 0, meaning the quadratic equations have two real and equal roots. So when B square minus 4AC smaller than 0, then the quadratic equations do not have any real roots. So how is the graph look like when the quadratic equations fall under this one? Two real roots and two uh for others two real and distinct roots. So the graph will be like this. Yeah. Two real and distinct roots. And for this case, the graph will be like this. Two real and equal roots, meaning there are two roots with the same value. And for this case, no real roots will be totally no intersections point. And one more thing, sometimes the question might give you the yeah, two real roots. Meaning, this two real roots is a combination of two real and distinct roots and two real and equals roots. That is, B squared minus 4 A C is bigger or equal to 0. Okay, let us take a look at this example. We are asked to find the range of value of K. So, and this quadratic equation has real roots. So, first of all, let us change this thing, convert this thing into a general format. So meaning x squared negative 4 move it to the left hand side become positive 4 for x plus 2 k move it to the left hand side become negative k negative k equals to 0. So now let us find wait what is the a b and c. A is 1, B is 4, 4x four is 4, and C is this whole thing. 2 minus k is C. 2 minus k is C. Okay, next. We are given this quadratic equation has real roots, meaning B squared minus 4ac bigger or equals to 0. B squared minus 4ac bigger or equals to 0. And now we substitute all the value we have here A, B, C into these equations. So B squared is 4 squared minus 4. A is 1. C is 2 minus K. 2 minus K bigger or equals to 0. So 4 squared is 16. 4, okay, do it this way. 4 multiply 1, 4. Multiply 2 is 8. 4 multiply 1, multiply negative k is negative 4 k bigger or equals to 0. Okay, here we become 18. 
minus uh, 16 minus 8 is 8. Negative, negative, become positive. 4 can bigger or equal to 0. So, moving 8 moving to the right hand side. It become 4 can bigger or equal to 8. Therefore, k is equal to 38. This one, k. Positive 8 moving to the right side becomes negative 8. So, meaning k is equal to 8, negative 8 over 4, and this will become negative. Okay, sorry. the right hand side it will become 4 k bigger or equals to negative 8 so 4 will be to here it will become k bigger or equals to negative 2 so the roots I mean the answer for k is bigger or equals to negative 2 so if you have any questions regarding this subtopic Please feel free to comment below this video and we will further explain it to you.